they risk their lives to protect and serve our country. They sacrifice family time and special occasions. Oh. In order to do the work of a hero, they also train very hard. <laughs> Physical fitness is second nature for soldiers. Many of them work out not once, but twice a day. Tell me about your training. How do you train? How do you prepare for this? PT every day, 6.30 to 8 o'clock. Testing begins promptly at 0600. Rogers. First roll call. Cue it. Then a demonstration on how to properly execute each task. On this day, temperatures were in the 30s. We were freezing. I mean, it does take a lot. I mean, that's why you're always watching the soldiers. They're always moving. They're always bouncing around. They're trying to keep their body warm. Starting off, each soldier receives a scorecard and is evaluated on the exercises according to gender and age. I think my, my min is 16. My max is 45. It was just doable. But sit-ups, same as male. One minute remaining. First up, push-ups. Two minutes to do as many as possible. <laughs> I did 53, more than the 39 needed to pass, 75 Two, points received. One. Stop, get up, get out of the way, next man move forward. After push-ups, it was 10 minutes to rest I can't talk. before two minutes of sit-ups. Now, I'm not a fan of sit-ups, so I had to train hard leading up to the test. Day of, I did 57 sit-ups with my legs burning profusely in the end. 45 was the minimum, 73 points earned. <laughs> if a soldier fails the PT test, they undergo more training with their command, then retest in 30 days. If a soldier fails twice, the process begins for discharge from the military. 300 is the maximum score a soldier can receive, but 180 is needed to pass. However, it's not just about passing. The PT score also impacts school options and officer promotions. Finally, the two-mile run, which meant eight laps around this track, helped me God. Rogers! I was exhausted after a half mile in from the previous exercises. A couple of times I slowed down, Let's go, baby. Let's but go. was encouraged to keep going. This is the last one, last one! Final lap to go, I sprinted <laughs> and crashed in the end. Tell me, uh, how did I do? For the run, for your age, minimum of 17 minutes, maximum of 13, 18. You got 1632, which gave you 64 points for a total of 212. So you passed. <laughs> so I passed, that means I'm, I can enlist right now. I can get my, yes, my you, weapons, yeah, I'm good. You can pass, you can get promoted and all that stuff. Following the physical fitness test, there's a height and weight exam to ensure soldiers meet the military's guidelines for acceptable height and weight. For those that don't pass. We would take you into a, into a, a room where you're by yourself. You take off your shirt, mm -hmm. and then we get, we get three measurements of your neck and abdomen. That's just to determine if soldiers have developed too much body fat. I tell you, an incredible experience overall. So many lessons learned. Most of all, exceed expectations. In Fort Bragg, I'm Nate Rogers, CBS North Carolina.